What if one change to the planet could trigger a chain reaction that spirals completely out of control? This isn't a sci-fi movie plot, it's climate tipping points. And they're closer than you think. Today, we're diving into the climate dominoes that scientists are seriously worried about. Why? Because once they fall, there's no going back. Let's break down four examples of climate tipping points. Let's start in the frozen north. Ever heard of permafrost? It's ancient frozen ground in places like Siberia and Alaska, and it's been frozen for thousands of years. But thanks to rising global temperatures, it's starting to thaw. And here's the kicker. When permafrost melts, it releases methane, a greenhouse gas that's over 80 times more powerful than CO2 over a 20-year period. That speeds up warming, which melts more permafrost, which creates more warming, and yeah, you get the idea. It's a feedback loop from hell. Scientists estimate the Arctic holds 1,500 billion tons of carbon in permafrost, nearly double what's currently in the atmosphere. Next up, the Amazon rainforest, often called the lungs of the Earth. It soaks up a massive amount of carbon, helping to cool the planet. But decades of deforestation are pushing it towards collapse. When trees are cut or burned, the local climate dries out. That messes with rainfall recycling, makes wildfires more frequent, and breaks the forest's natural cycles. If too much of the forest disappears, it could flip from being a carbon sink to a carbon source, adding more CO2 into the atmosphere than it absorbs. Since 2001, over 75 million hectares of tree cover have been lost in the Amazon. Now, let's talk about the ocean's secret power, the AMOC, aka the Atlantic Meridional Overturning Circulation. It's like a giant conveyor belt, moving warm water from the tropics to the North Atlantic, but it's slowing down fast. And if it weakens too much, we're looking at massive disruptions in global weather. Think East Coast USA flooding, Sahel region droughts, Western Europe freezes. A recent study in climate change nature estimates that the AMOC is now at its weakest point in over 1,000 years. And now, onto a more recent and quite cool and scary phenomenon, we're seeing something wild, lightning storms in the Arctic, made possible by disappearing sea ice and warming temperatures. These used to be super rare, but now they're sparking massive wildfires across the tundra and peatlands. These fires release gigatons of carbon and coat nearby ice with soot, which makes it melt even faster. More melting, more warming, more melting, more warming. See the pattern? So here's the scary part. These tipping points don't act alone. Permafrost melt can fuel warming that can push the Amazon to collapse, which disrupts ocean currents and finally begins fueling Arctic fires. It's a domino effect. One system triggers another and we lose control. That's why 1.5 degrees C of warming isn't just a nice to have target, it's a hard safety limit to avoid triggering these irreversible shifts. Which tipping point do you think we're closest to? And which ones scare you most? Drop your thoughts in the comments. I read every one. Even you, you pesky little trolls. And if you're into clear, no fluff takes on climate and sustainability, hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you in the next one on Sustainability with Jack.